she is the owner and the director of this place. She assists everybody in the cooking, all the under chef. And I would like to ask her a few questions. So, what brought you into cooking? Oh, the, the idea for cooking was a lasting in me. But uh, it was a time that I really wanted to do something for Goa and our good cuisine because we have rich culture, you know. Yes. The rich culture, the, the the best of Goa is through our food. And uh, we forget a lot of times that food is the, one of the most nutritious things to our body. And today in typical moments that everybody runs away from cooking, we at Mom's Kitchen are there. For everyone. How did you come up with the term Mom's Kitchen? Uh, since we were in Goa and it's in Goa, I realized that was a time that uh, the Goan cuisine was moving out. It was getting to a fusion and uh, I wanted to do something for Goa and work very hard backwards, uh, you know, with my husband around to do a lot of research and uh, knowing where, what we can do for Goa. So we worked towards doing the best of Goa in both the both the cuisine. That's the Hindu way of cooking as well as okay. the Catholic way of so cooking. Have we have both of yeah. them. We have both. Okay. But Goa is not just about you know yeah. just the fish curry or uh, there's so much more that one can explore and know more about the cuisine of Goa. Yes. And what are the different types of what are your speciality foods? See, people come to Goa to have fish. The, exotic type of seafood yes. that we get in Goa, we are very lucky but uh, there are some who do not have these flavors yes. but we have that and of course I give them a choice you know from the local fish to the big fish and of course uh, it's not just the fish but also we have for vegetarians wide variety of it and uh, the meats of course okay. the red meats and the white meats so What's your who's, what's your favorite food? Like what's your uh, Go, Goa seafood. Goa seafood. <laughs> I think yes. Is. I think everybody loves to eat that, and uh, I'm I can't do without fish. <laughs> <laughs> so fish lover, of course. Yeah. And uh, in in just the twenty year gap, like you, I've seen you have achieved a lot of awards. Like who does all that praise go to? I think uh, it's a lot of effort with my entire team I don't take that credit because it is my entire team yes. who has worked uh, effortlessly uh, you know in giving and doing that yeah. they're behind okay. they are not to be seen but of course I give them a lot of input because they are nowhere where they have got any education but uh, I give them a chance and a hope to survive in this most difficult uh, world that we live in mm -hmm. and there's nothing that is impossible uh, if we, we we have somebody you have a direction uh, we have a good leader I think anybody can reach out to any level no matter what you have been educated with but I think there's a choice for everybody to make somewhere you know something in life so do you feel proud being the owner of Mums uh, yes I feel proud because I'm making my small effort uh, of trying to retain this movement of the Goan cuisine to the whole part of the universe because though we are very small our cuisine has got very high rich uh, heritage in terms of food and and yet more that we have to work towards you know uh, to give to the customers yes. to make it more aware for the whole universe and our food is like uh, not a fusion it's got its best values when it comes to eating the best food. Like if you eat a fast food, uh, you know, you, we have so many things that we face. But if we eat real Goan food cooked home, uh, I think we'll never face all this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you, you will not uh, get into any in any type of, you know, sicknesses also. Yeah, that's right. So, I, I think our God would really stands a chance for that. <laughs> so, who's the better cook, you or your husband? Uh, when it comes to cooking, um, I I actually uh, you know find out what is really required in the, the real authenticity around. 
but when it ta- if you have to give a chance for my husband to do it he is the better cook okay so that credit goes to the husband yes yeah, of course of and, course and uh, what of what will be the preparing today i am basically going to be showing you prawn curry the fish fry the tisriu which everybody loves eating oh, wow, tisriu uh, yeah and i want to show one of the goan hindu way of cooking uh, the most simplest dish you know but uh, we f- we forget that also the hindu vegetarian food is amazing okay. and um, i would love to show that one part wow, of that's uh, really nice let's move ahead yes yes I'm showing you the the prawn curry, yeah. which is the original prawn curry of corn. Yeah. Most of the mothers uh, they would do it, but uh, this is the typical way the Catholic homes they make okay. a prawn curry. Okay, whereas a Hindu prawn curry it's is very different. different. Is different. Okay. For flavorings. Uh, so that's the masala. The, the masala, masala, which is perfect. Then we put the prawns inside, yeah. and and we just allow it to cook for a little while okay. for the prawns to get. So now yeah, yeah. We just allow it to just to give it one two boils so, so that the prawns are done, and then once uh, you get one two uh, this of it, uh, we will add for flavoring. We will add. the brand is called lady fingers because yeah. everybody yeah. love it okay uh while this is being done i'll move on to the showing you how the uh this you are done okay okay yeah. just add a little bit of oil yeah and then we add normal with the normal vegetable oil get yeah, the onions in that Chop and chop it, and allow it to cook for a while. Similarly, the onions are brown. Yeah, if it is brown, you just need to allow it to. Otherwise, you will not get the flavor of the yeah, onion. We can see here the the prawns. Now for the final taste. 
So you leave that with that. Yeah. So you know, five at least is going to be five. Four. And I'll show you the uh, limit. Yeah. It's getting so bad. Yeah. So you know, you uh, don't distort the original look of the limit. The small, uh, small things, but uh, give that originality. Even the aspect of how you eat is through your eyes. So the moment it is over, also done, then it will be very clean. Yeah. A little bit of salt, not too much also because uh, shells by itself yeah. has got the uh, salt in it. You can smell the cooked milk and How do you this fish can be made? The methi? Uh, it is basically because uh, we have methi seeds which is the main ingredient beside the coconut. Oh. It's the coconut and the flavor is the methi. You can't, you can't play with meaty seeds at all. Then it is uh, bittery. So the whole flavor is on that. In curry, if you want it very spicy, we don't make it very spicy. But if somebody wants it very spicy, then the least you can do is add a green chili. That's the first dish with the uh, leaves which are cut. So it's the sweetness, yeah, sweetness and the sour. We use the brown color. What does the brown on all that we have to Main is the coconut, the baby seeds, the coconut. Is this a gravy? I mean, semi, uh, yeah, not very, uh, but not very. While the food is being cooked, let's have a walk around the place. The place, very calm, creates a homely vibe. The flavors remind me of my mother's touch. God has provided us with these resources and here at Mum's Kitchen turn this into a great mouth-watering meal. This is the final part and my most favorite part that I finally get to taste this amazing yummy food that's prepared at Mum's Kitchen. So here we have the dishes right in front of us with amazing flavor and the contrasting colors and the presentation is all so good. And here we have two types of rices that is one is brown rice and the white rice. And all the food looks so yummy, I just can't wait to take a bite of it. Why don't you try, I put some rice, uh, from curry and rice, yeah. some rice for you. Try that this year. Okay. This is 
Así es. If you are a favorite of pickles, mm. you can also try because these pickles are also made in, in Mom's kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. I do a, a variety of pickles and um, um, I try experimenting. <laughs> wow. That's a lovely line to pickle. The fish is so well done, so soft, as you crack it, it just, it's one really well done. I get a lot of customers when they come from the uh, airport, they say, please book a table. Wow. <laughs> and before they leave, they, they want to eat here yeah. and then they want to go. The taste of Goa. There are some guests who will just sit with the cold yeah. and they eat it with the bread. Oh, with the bread. Another starter. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> a simple but an important ingredient, salt which most of us need to use it in all the dishes that we prepare. As Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. So to sum up this whole interview and everything about this place, Monk's Kitchen, everyone must experience this place. As of I, I love the Goan cuisine. It's like home. And especially the word Monk's Kitchen, it is truly you know, related to mothers. So everyone should come here, try out this restaurant. It's really pretty close I think to everybody in the heart of Miramar so please come and enjoy it. I would love to say something it's a mother who keeps her home always united and something that always God wanted us to do is to keep our home and family together by giving us the proper simple food that one needs. That's really nice and thank you one and all for coming here and thanks for who has always been there and who is the main in charge of this whole place and is making mothers proud by giving a special touch of her recipe.